Hello, hello. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. I just got home from work. And guess who's here? James Dean. He loves to be on camera because every time I get ready to film something, he comes over and wants me to pick him up. So he's snorting right now. That means hello. So I'm continuing to clean out my refrigerator. I'm having a party and I like to clean out the refrigerator ahead of time so that there's room for everything that you need at your party. Birthday cakes and beer and food. So it's gross because I just touched a dog, but ignore that for a moment. I read that you can make juice out of watermelon rind. So as I don't like to waste anything, if possible, I bought a watermelon, organic, wash it first, the outside, and then when you're eating, you scoop out the middle, eat it, and then you save the rinds in the refrigerator. So these are rinds that I've had in the refrigerator for like four or five days. They don't appear to be moldy, so I'm guessing that I won't die from this. So I'm going to use my Nutribullet and I'm going to make a watermelon juice. I've seen it done with a juicer. I don't have a juicer, but I think if I use the Nutribullet and then st strain it with a strainer, it should be fine. It's kind of the same effect as using a juicer, right? I'm just going to chop it up into small enough pieces. James, get your face away from the knife. He's crazy. I'm going to put some smaller pieces in there. This is going to be multi-steps. I can see that already. So when you use the Nutribullet, you put your food in there and then you put your water to a certain level. I'm going to say that's a good level. I'm going to put this on here. I'm going to put this here. And I'm going to go like this. doesn't look very good. I don't know, maybe it doesn't even need to be strained. Ooh. Let me taste it. Oh. It needs to be strained. It's like, there's a lot of crunchy, hard chunks in there. So, I'm going to strain out the pulpy stuff and leave the juice. Now this juice is supposed to, hair on the table, just gross, this whole thing is gross. Um, the pop, this juice is supposed to be high in something, I think it's called citrulline, and it's supposed to be really good for your cir circulation, and it also has a similar effect, supposedly, to, to Viagra. So, it doesn't look very delicious, I'll tell you that much. The pulp, there's a lot of pulp. I'm going to just taste it. We're going to see what, what it tastes like. It's a muddy color, not attractive. But it tastes great. It's it's kind of fresh. Similar to cucumber juice. It's not bad at all, actually. It tastes a lot better than it looks. So there's your watermelon Viagra recipe. The effects, I don't know. Are they <laughs> when are the effects supposed to take place? Um, 
I, I'm not feeling anything yet. James. However, uh, I'll do a report at some future time and let you know if anything happens. I'm going to finish doing this so I don't waste it, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye.